Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim and welcome to my channel. And uh, I know it's been a while, so hello to everyone and thank you to those who reached out and contacted me on um, Facebook and on Instagram checking up on me. Thank you, thank you. That was so kind of you and um, thinking of you all. Um, just had a lot of health things going on, you know, um, parents not doing well. Um, I think I filled you in last time uh, I left a video, so just same old, same old, but I am getting my uh, craft room in order, and i um, almost done with that. It's been a long, long uh, project with my foot being in a, in a brace, in a boot, so um, finally out of the boot uh, half the day, so I'm able to get some stuff done. So actually, Franny's here too. Say hi, Franny. Uh, she's just playing, I think. <laughs> so Franny's going to join us today, and I just had some Halloween things. I happened to um, run over to Joanne's. I just had, uh, I just, you know, was thinking it's Halloween time coming up, and I haven't seen Halloween stuff in the store. Um, Halloween wasn't at uh, Hobby Lobby, so I thought I'd try Joanne's. So I did have some luck. And I'll start off with these stamps. Let me adjust this here so you can see. Stamps and stencils. There were a lot more. These are just the ones that I chose. Uh, let's see, we've got, you know, with the skeleton. And uh, I love the poison stamp. That's really cute. Um, tables of the skeleton, the skeleton contents. <laughs> and how many bones. And I love these here little stamps of course skull and crossbones and um, this little stencil there so that is what it looks like lots of fun there and then I liked this one let's see try and get that out of the way wishing you a spooky Halloween strangers have the best candy <laughs> Um, something wicked this way comes. And then I love the bats and the bow tie and of course the skeleton and the cobwebs and the stencils. So that is what this looks like. I'm kind of like out of frame. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm trying to get adjusted to the new way I have everything set up in here. And I'm not quite sure the position I want my, my uh, phone at for the camera. So if I'm off... <laughs> I'm like, I keep wanting to go over to that side. So, um, um, sorry about that. These cute pumpkins. I love happy Halloween. Hello pumpkin, trick or treat, spooky. And then it's got the different pumpkins, which I thought is really cute. And again, the stencil. I really like the blotchy. This one here. It's kind of cool. So, yeah. So I believe there were three more at Joann's. Uh, they were not on sale. I'm sure they will go on sale, you know, eventually, but I couldn't wait because they were already picked over, believe it or not. That or they only had a couple of each thing. So I just, you know, splurged and grabbed some. So here's some Halloween phrases. A little sticker book. Here's some of the phrases. Let's see here. What do we got here? And then in the back, we have some like elixirs, pharmacy stuff. Let's see, how many pages of that? Oh, look, we've got the ancestors. And then, of course, all the words. So that's, I like that. That's cute. I think that's a little different than last year's. I haven't dug out last year's goodies yet to compare them. So I'll have to take a look. This here, of course, the layers. And here's a little sneak peek. I am going to open this one, though, so we can have an idea. I'm curious, too, what's what's all in here. And I'll just put them back in later. So, of course, we've got like a moth. Wholesale florist. Oh, these are cool. The numbers, the clocks. Oh, here's some curtains. That's kind of cool. 
And then here's the other side. That's different. Love and the Owl. This is like really thick hard card stock. Let's see here. These are nice little, you know, to put in pockets. A little floral thrown in there. The eye, the number three. Some more goodies. Druggist. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's like a big tarot card. It's kind of what it looks like, but it reminds me of. For skill and amusement only. So yeah, some fun stuff there. Yeah, so we'll just set that aside. This I thought was really different. Uh, transparencies. I think last year they ha he had vellum. Um, but these, let's take a look at these. Let's see what these look like. There's not very many in here, I don't think. Let's see, we have some bats. These are either moths or butterflies. I guess butterflies. Some more bats. I wish they had more bats. This is cool. Skull. Little eye chart. And the web. So that's a lot different than uh, last year's, I believe. Now I'm hoping Franny doesn't come back up here because I have not, don't have any of these back in the package and they're going to go everywhere. Now these I'm not going to open. This is just a little, um, little snippets of ephemera. And I really like those. Um, they're like stamps and pharmacy things and numbers. Oh my gosh. So that's an example of all the different ones that there are. So that's a lot. There's a lot in here. I don't think it says. Oh yes, 233 pieces in there. So that's that was a good deal. Now let's see. Oh, I think I already did this one. Was this the Halloween ephemera? Oh, that was Halloween layers. Now this is the Halloween ephemera. I got a couple on some of these. I got extra. So trying to sort it out in my mind here out loud now here's the ephemera oh these are fun I like that prescriptions wicked curious oh I like these <laughs> Apron and necktie, October, table skeletons. This is just so you have an idea what's in the pack. Gypsy fortune card. So this, I like this pack. This is a good pack. Poison, of course, there's always got to be bugs of some sort. I'm just glad. Oh, I love the crow. I don't know if y'all have seen a video. I don't know. It was a couple years ago. I did a couple Halloween uh custom orders journals, custom order journals, and um, the theme was crow. So I wish I would have had those then. So poison sign. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Making a mess. Now these I think y'all are really going to like. This was the set of backdrops, they call it. And here are all the different ones. But I am going to take a few out, so just so we can see firsthand. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. I think it's because it's front back. Let's see. Front of design. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Figure it out together. So how have y'all been? Leave in the comments how you've been. I've been terrible. I haven't been able to uh, get on YouTube very often. Um, not too much on the social media while I've kind of been away. 
and I will be taking another trip uh, to see my mom. She's not doing too well. Oh, look, they are two-sided. Yeah, her health's pretty bad, so really want to spend some time with her again and uh, try and help her out a bit. So I'll probably be away again, but I will let y'all know. Oh, I love that they're two-sided because we can make, or y'all can make uh, tags out of them. These are cool. Oh, loving these. So much to do with these. Oh, I like that. Oh, loving that piece. Oh, they smell really good, too. It's like like when you open a, a book at the library book. Oh, that's cool. It's a nice little print. So, yeah, I keep getting distracted. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what y'all been up to, what projects you've been working on, um, what your summer's been like. If you've... Uh, gone on any vacations I know with the pandemic and things the way they are I'm sure there's not a whole lot of traveling going on but um, it is nice that we can see families again at least you know if you've had your immunization oh I love that with the orange not crazy about the bugs but it is Halloween so Very nice. I'm pleased with that one. Can't remember how much this was. They they weren't too bad. Um, but, you know, a sale would have been better. <laughs> oh, here's this. These are the wallpapers. And we're going to open these two. Let's see. Gathering of textures, vintage inspired salvaged wallpapers. And it looks like there's some little floral pieces in here too. Oh, they're textured. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that feels really cool. They're all textured so far. All right, so we kind of get the idea. There's the florals here. I love these bands. It's a bunch of different ones. Those are really cool. It almost looks like Christmas. <laughs> and let's see, there's more. So I'm very behind in projects. I have been, although I, I will... Um, take a picture and put it on my Instagram of my progress on my diamond painting that 60 by I think it was 60 by 60 I'm almost done with it y'all it's just you know I work on it as much as I can but it's really hot in this craft room so uh, at this this time anyway it's been in the 90s so haven't been okay they're not two-sided um, haven't been full blown working on it, but um, I think I have one little corner. So I have like a quarter, little less than a quarter of it to do. And I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Instagram for y'all. I would show you now, but I have it uh, in a different place location here in the house. Oh, that's cool. Look, it's like stained. They're all stained really cool I just love that they're all textured every one of them are textured I'm trying to see in this lighting if you can see you could tell on the uh, little florals better I think oh gosh these are gonna make some great ephemera oh and they smell so good Pretty. Now, one thing I was a little disappointed is I didn't see any Halloween paper. Uh, they had some cardstock, black cardstock, um, 
but that was that was it for Halloween paper and I don't know if I'm just late to the game there um, but uh, or late to the show however that saying is <laughs> or um, if they just haven't put them out yet it may be too soon but yeah it's just uh, cardstock and it was it's just black so to do some little die cuts let's see I have where did I find I think I'm missing something hold okay here we go I got these distress oxides we've got carved pumpkin wilted violet and twisted citron so uh Hopefully I'll get to those and be able to make some cool things with that little mixed media. And what else is Tim Holtz? I ended up getting a couple other things that aren't Tim Holtz, but most of them are. So we have Mummy Claw, and it looks like two bands of it. Let's see, woven. It's just, they call it Mummy Wrap. And this one here... This one got flipped under there, I think. I think it's a pumpkin. So these are just little, uh, I think you would put like a pin there. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with them. Uh, somehow attach it. I wish they had the little attachments to make it a pin so you could pin it on some fabric. But I don't, yeah, I'm not sure why they don't do that. If y'all know, tell me. <laughs> they call them buttons, but I guess you just have to uh, make your own little creative twist on it there. <laughs> but I like them. I like the black rose and the, the moth. That's, that's that. Now here are a few things that are just, these were I think 30 or 40% off. Uh, just Joanne's brand. And I just loved it's like mummy wrap. So it's really cool. It's kind of frayed. So there's one yard on each one. And this one here, a yard of each, which isn't bad. So I really liked them for tr these trims. I like that. Now I didn't find any, you know, I didn't look. Tim Holtz charms. Um, sometimes they have it over in the bead section, Joanne's. I'll have to check next time. Um, I don't know what made me think of that, but oh, I know. <laughs> I'm kind of scattered today, y'all. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, this reminded me of the charms. Um, I'll have to look because sometimes they have the Tim Holtz jewelry in uh, the jewelry section at Joanne's. So this I thought might be cool for some closures. Uh, that or oh yeah they're different size locks and there's a couple keys in there I think yeah charms da, 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 doesn't say just little bits so that might be a nice little um, fun friend mail too this I thought was so cute this Halloween trim they're little uh, skeletons I thought that would be fun to uh, just to wrap around some tissue paper for a little Halloween gift. Oh, it glows in the dark, y'all. Oh, my goodness. How cool is that? I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. And these really have no... I just needed one of these rub tools. Um, a good friend of mine, Birgit, she uh, sent me some beautiful rubbing uh, little... They're not stickers, but you know what I mean. You rub them off. And I needed a good tool like this. I can't find my other one. And even though these aren't Halloween, I I uh, stocked up on these and these little bits. They're just little stitch scraps. Just some fun things. So that... Oh, wait. I have more Halloween. I was just going to say I was done, but I'm not done. Now, I did stop by uh, Tuesday morning. And I have to say, I'm so disappointed with Tuesday morning uh, nowadays they just don't have any crafts anymore 
very little but I did find this on clearance for three dollars and I thought this would be perfect for Halloween so there's lots of it so I can I can share there's a lot made in Italy that's pretty cool um, don't know how much is on here so it was regularly $4.99, I got it for three bucks. So that too would look nice wrapped around some front mail. I loved this black cat fortunes. It's actually like a little box, but it is like a book. $6.99. They had different sizes, but I um, obviously because I love my cats, I got the cat one. And I did get this. This is a tablecloth and it just has the pumpkins and boo on it. And I don't have a round table, but this is for a round table for front mail. So um, yeah, so I thought that would be really cute. For $12.99, um, it was normally, it said estimated value $24.99. So, and I believe that, that's fair. It's a, uh, spill proof so it's really nice uh, fabric yeah water resistant uh, spills bead right up so awesome that is about it for Halloween haul today um, I do have another haul coming up um, later this week from Hobby Lobby I think it was just Hobby Lobby so I'll keep in touch y'all and um, give you that haul and some more updates and I really hope y'all are doing well stay safe and take care of one another